How's it going? Today I'll be showing you how to use the if statement in the Rust programming language. So basically if statements allow you to execute certain bits of code based on a condition. So for example, if we define a number called n and set it to 20. Now, if we go down here and we want to actually print out a message if the number is less than 30, we can. Like this. We'll type in if n is less than 30 then two curly braces so this basically just says if n so the value at n is less than 30 then execute everything inside here so now we can type in something like print line and say the number is less than 30 we'll try and run this and see what happens Alright, we get the number is less than 30. That's what we want. Now back to the program. If we change the number from 20 to, for example, 45, and try it again, we shouldn't get a message. We get nothing. That's because now, this expression right here is now false. So if statements basically check if something is true or false. So now that n is equal to 45, this is no longer true, so this doesn't execute. We can also check if n equals 45 by using a double equals sign. So double equals means to compare. So make sure in your if statements you're using double equals instead of a single equals. So now if we type in 45 here, we're saying if n equals 45, then we'll just print out rust. For example, try this one, we should see Rust. And there we are, that's what we expect. Now we can also use other things such as the greater than sign, which works as you might expect it, and also the does not equals sign, which says if n does not equal this value right here. Now there are also things called the else statement. So if the number is equal to 45, we do this, yeah? But if it's not, then what do we do? Well, we can use else. So we can type in else. Now everything inside here will execute when this is not true. We can type in right here, print line, it was not 45. And then change n to something like 56. We'll try this one. And we see it was not 45 because it is indeed not 45. Now, there's one more bit to talk about, and that is the else if statement. So now inside here, we can also do this. We can say, else if n is greater than 50, then execute this right here. So we can type in, it is less than 50. Sorry, greater than 50. It's the greater than sign. Now we can try this one and we should see it is greater than 50. So basically it checks if n is equal to 45. If it's not, then it checks if n is greater than 50. And if that is also not true, then it just says it was not 45. And it was less than 50. So now we run this one, and we should see it is greater than 50. But if we change it back to, I don't know, 20, we should see the last one. Hold on. There we are. It was not 45, and it was less than 50. So that is basically how if statements work in Rust. Uh, they work similar to other languages, um, but there is one thing that is different and that is that there's no need for parentheses. So if we put parentheses around here and we try and run this, the Rust compiler actually says to us it's unnecessary to use parentheses around the if condition. So you can do it, but it's not required. And that's basically it for if statements in Rust. Thank you guys for watching. See you later.